I love this place. Uh, you know, we live in this neighborhood, and it's really kind of like, it is like the cultural gem in Tribeca. It wasn't like any other theater. It was, it was really kind of neat. And this is kind of reminds me of that. You don't know what you're going to get, but it's not going to be like you ever saw it before. Listen, I didn't know what to expect, but right now I feel like I got more than I expect, but I, I feel like I'm full. It felt like home, actually, in all of its sort of quirk and weirdness, and just, I don't even, I don't even know how to define it. There's such a diversity and um, uh, so many different colors of, 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 like, individuals in this piece. Like, even the drummer, like, I love the drummer and her energy. Diana and everyone she includes in her work, with her work, provides just always such a comfortable, familial, familiar feeling space. It was exciting to see Nigel perform. I'd never seen him perform before. When he caught the Holy Ghost, that was, I was like, oh, he's still going. <laughs> the music is great. It's a great laugh, and the whole thing kind of feels like a big release. Arden is about the acceptance of everyone's truth and individuality. I felt like each particular individual on the stage was able to express themselves. In, in a non-performative way. I think right now people really need to feel a part of theater and uh, they really do make you feel like you're a part of it. I'm just so happy to have, have seen this and I will definitely be back. I don't think I've seen anything like it before. The music was amazing, the dance was incredible, the stories were so powerful. It was all uh, surprising and beautiful. I'm gonna walk out talking about it. Pretty gay to me. <laughs> <laughs> yes.